only respond when there's an emergency. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, thanks everybody. I'm just kidding. On October 4th, hundreds of millions of cell phones across the U.S. received a text message and that alert tone as part of a test of the National Emergency Alert System. So many of us grew up with the emergency broadcast system, right? This is a test. This station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcasting system. This is only a test. Getting that tone on your TV that interrupted whatever program you were watching. This is just the modern version of that going to people's cell phones. Nationwide alerts for mobile devices were in the works since the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, but didn't become operational until 2012. Federal law requires the government to conduct a nationwide test at least every three years. The purpose of the test is to ensure that the emergency response systems continue to be effective means of warning the public about emergencies. This is the third time FEMA has conducted a wireless nationwide test of all cell phone emergency alerts, but a second test to all cellular devices. Getting alerts out promptly to our communities saves lives. That's why FEMA is working with the Federal Communications Commission and your local public safety authorities on this test. There are four different types of wireless emergency alerts. National or presidential alerts, which can only be issued by the president during a national emergency, imminent threat alerts involving hazards on the local level, like extreme weather, amber alerts about missing or abducted children, and public safety alerts, which have information about threats that may not be as imminent. More than 1,600 federal, state, and local authorities use what's known as the Integrated Public Alert and Warning System, or IPAWS, to issue alerts and warnings to people in their jurisdictions. Most cell phones powered on within reach of a cell phone tower and participating in wireless service should be triggered by the national test. Television shows and radio broadcasts will also be interrupted with an emergency test message. Only local emergency alerts like amber alerts or severe weather warnings can be disabled in advance. You cannot opt out of a national alert, and that's because it is sent by the president. So if the president is deciding to send an alert, it's considered important enough that you should receive it no matter what. Aside from test alerts, the president has not, to my knowledge, ever sent a national alert. While the national alert system has only been tested, authorities have used the system locally more than 84,000 times since 2012 making it a challenge for authorities to decide how often to hit send. You know, they're constantly trying to find that balance of what's too much and what's too little. If you don't send enough alerts, then, then you might not be reaching everyone. Versus if you send too many, you might desensitize people. There's very much that balance or that needle that they're trying to thread. For FEMA, the nationwide test is a chance to make sure the federal government can alert the entire country in the event of a nationwide emergency. We want to make sure that when it counts, we can keep you informed. The next alert you receive could save your life or the life of ones you love.